Hey YouTube, it's Carla, our change in 56, and today is, sep uh, no it's not September, it's October the 1st, 2013. Now I'm going to try this again, yes I am driving, and I just got a call in the middle of the uh, video that I had already started, so hopefully I won't get another call. Um, I am on my way back from Birmingham. Um, I'm going home to Coleman. I've been to see my surgeon. It's been six months since I've seen him. It's, well, I, let's see, April, May, June, July, August, September. Yeah, six months since I've seen him. I saw him in April, and he let me go six months. He said, you're doing great yet then. And he was absolutely thrilled today when he saw me. Um, I, I'll go into the weight in just a minute, but he was, he was very thrilled. Um, I'll just go back to the beginning because in the other video I just kind of did it in the middle but I'll go back to the beginning in case I have somebody that's that's new and that doesn't know me or where I've come from. I started this journey um, on or in September of 2011 and at that time I started my six month documentation for gastric bypass R and Y um, with my primary care physician. And at that time, I weighed 221 pounds. Had tons of health issues. You name it, I had it. Liver, diabetes, heart, high blood pressure, thyroid. Uh, you know, the diabetes was the major thing because it was, it was causing a lot of other problems. Part of the liver is hereditary. I, I go to that doctor next month and we'll see how things are going there. But at any rate, I had tons of health problems. Just numerous. My doctors had begged me for years to have gastric bypass, but I was not ready. And I think those of you that have had surgery know you really have to be ready and you have to be able to concentrate on you. So that was in September of 2011. My day of surgery, which was June 18th, 2012, I weighed 193. And today at home, before I came, naked, naked as a jaybird, no clothes, I weighed 117, which is pretty much what I weigh every day. And in the doctor's office with my clothes on, I weighed 119. So, you know, that's good. That's pretty much, that's normal, you know, naked as opposed to clothes. He was thrilled with that weight. He's thrilled that I have been maintaining that weight for like about four months now. When I was in his office in April, I weighed 126. So I've lost seven pounds since since then. But I really started in June, really trying to, to keep from losing anymore. My primary care physician wanted me to up my calories. And I did that. I talked to the nutritionist and we came up with 1,400 calories. And most days I get between 12 and 1,400 calories. A few days I've gone over not more than about 50 or 100 calories, but that is very, very rare. Um, most days I'm, I'm around 1,200 or 1,300 calories. And I still try to get in uh, my 10 to 1 protein. So I get at least 100 grams of protein in every day. Still eating the same things I've always been eating. And if you see one of my videos, you pretty much know what it is. Um, I always have Greek yogurt and now I, I have added oatmeal to it. I, I found this recipe on Pinterest where you put fruit and old-fashioned oats and Greek yogurt and in the refrigerator and overnight, leave it overnight. You don't cook the oatmeal. I love that and that that's that's my breakfast every morning. I do a lot of Quest bars. I do, I still do not a protein shake every day, maybe every other day or three, four times a week um, with the protein shakes. And then I try to get in at least one firm protein meal a day. And in the first video I was wiping my mouth, I just stopped and ate lunch and I had barbecue and I was afraid I might have, I still had barbecue sauce on me. I stopped at Jim and Nick's, which is kind of a local thing. I don't know. that They're in some places other than than Alabama. I'm not sure where all they are. But anyway, great, great barbecue. I had ribs and collards. And I have a picture of it, but you know, I've told y'all before, I have no clue um, how to post it here. I did post a picture of it on Facebook. And then I took another picture of what I had left. Now the lady looked at me because she brought me just the lunch menu and the regular menu. And I was looking at it and I'm going, oh my gosh, I can't eat all this food. 
So I said, do you have a children's menu? And she kind of, I said, I've had gastric bypass. I have a card if you want to see it. She said no. She brought, So she brought me the children's menu. And um, I had the the baby back rib. No, well, maybe they're just southern ribs. I don't know. Anyway, ribs and collard greens. Well, and this was the child's plate. Five dollars for, for that. And, well, it, it actually it comes with a drink and and um, cornbread muffin type cheese biscuits. Well, I had water and I didn't eat the biscuits. I put those in my box for the dogs. Um, these were long ribs about this long. I ate half of one of those. So I had one and a half left. I ate half the collards and none of the biscuits. Um, so for five dollars I've got at least another meal you know I've got one meal plus at least another meal and that was the children's menu can you imagine can you imagine you know because like a regular rib plate for an adult can, well it comes with two vegetables too but it doesn't come with a drink and they were like 15 bucks and that was you know I was going I can't eat all that stuff and I know you know I know me I will eat it one more time but I won't eat it more than that so um, for five dollars I had a great lunch and I'll have another meal this week off of that. So I try to do that. I try to get in at least one firm protein meal a month, uh, a month, a day. Um, and usually it's pork. Pork really goes down better than anything else. Pork chops, grilled pork chops. Um, steak goes down well. Hamburger meat goes down well. Chicken. If I'm not real careful, still, chicken gives me a problem, but I do eat chicken. Um, I just have to be real careful what kind it is and how it's cooked to make sure it's, it's tender and it's not stringy, because if it's tough and stringy, I'm in trouble. Uh, it gets stuck still to this day. But um, I'm doing well. I'm so excited. Um, I had a real thrill yesterday, and I did not expect this. I've been kind of planning, you know, I've been working and, and I've been saving and kind of been planning on when I could get like an iPad. Um, and my kind of goal was November, maybe even Black Friday because sometimes Walmart puts them on sale. I know they did last year and they never go on sale. Well, I went to pay my Verizon bill yesterday, my phone bill, and when I went in I was looking at them and salesperson came up to me and said if you're ever going to consider getting one you need to do it now they don't ever go on sale but today only the iPad mini was a hundred dollars off plus free activation which was thirty five dollars so yeah you know it I did it I did it I saved a hundred and thirty five dollars now I had planned to go to Tuscaloosa this weekend to the Alabama game. I'm no longer going. I am the proud owner of an iPad Mini, but that's okay. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to play with it yesterday and last night, but I did some. Face uh, FaceTime has been great because I have a, a friend. Well, he's he's a special friend. We hadn't seen each other in a while, and we did FaceTime last night, and it was. It was great. That's all I can say is it was great. It was great to see him. He said it was great to see me. I mean, we've sent pictures back and forth, but, you know, and we've done Uvu, but on a phone, Uvu is not real. I mean, but the, on the, the iPad, and it's, you know, bigger, it was very clear. It was great. So, and besides that, there are tons of other things, but, you know, I'm thrilled with my new iPad mini. So, that's been my week so far. I hope you are all having a great week, and I'm trying to pay attention to what's going on. There's some signs on the highway. Um, hope you all have a great week, and go out and rock your journey.